Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elects scattered abroad, teaching this word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And this one here is going to be a quick hit, straight to the point. And, um, you know, I just want to talk on the, the uh, beauty of our salvation which is those of the whole four elect, all right? Those of the Hawabah Shimi Hawashai servants, all right? The beautiness of our salvation is so beautiful that it's so far beyond that they look for, you know? They can't imagine it. They can't believe it, all right? That the chariots of the Lord could come down and deliver and pick up the elect and save them from the great destruction of the thermonuclear fire, okay? To save them from, you know, the Heavenly Father's indignation that resteth upon his sinners. Well, upon those sinners. Excuse me. So, you know, I was watching a movie last night. And there's an old clip back in 2008 called The Clothefill. The Clothefill, all right? I believe there's a couple of parts to it. But the very first one, you know, I remember seeing it years ago. But watched it again. You know, it reminded me of Yahweh Shai. When he returned, okay, Yahweh Shai said he shall try in the press alone, okay. Their blood is going to, you know, come upon his garment because the Lord is going to do a much killing. And when you're watching that movie, if brothers get a chance, go watch it. The 2008 Clothfill, the very first one, you know, there was an unknown creature that came out. And they really couldn't show you all of the creature. But what you seen was the creature ripped off the head of the the uh what you call it the uh statue of liberty and threw it you know into the cities in new york you know into the blocks it was in manhattan and um people were terrified people were afraid they didn't know what was going on and then all of a sudden you seen a big foot just squash a military tank you know so looking at it with a spiritual why i kept thinking of the scriptures and thinking of yahweh shai so you know that inspired this show uh, right now as a quick hit hopefully it's edifying uh, this is wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 and 1 then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of of such as have afflicted him and made no account for his labors so who are the righteous men that stand in great boldness that's the question to ask yourself you know for those out there who are uh, who are uh, watching you know, the righteous men that stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted them, those are the prophets, all right, the teachers. Starting here, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and the men on down throughout the four corners of the earth teaching 100% truth, all right, teaching prophecy. That's those men, okay? And who's the one that afflicted them? It's Esau, all right? Not just Esau, but the other nations as well. It says, and made no account for his labors. Because there is no reward, or let's say no, no redeem, okay, for us by these other nations. The only redeem we can, uh, only way we can be saved or redeemed is by Yahweh Shai. Okay, it's the Heavenly Father who put us in this, and it's the Heavenly Father who's going to take us out of this captivity. And that's in Baruch, the fourth chapter, verse 2. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. They shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. All right. So why are they going to be afraid and troubled with terrible fear? Because the sightings of the chariots, the chariots swinging low, taking brothers up, the chariot zapping, turning people to, to, to dust. You know, just as they showed you in, um, I think that was, um, what's the movie with um, Tom Cruise? Is it World War Z? Not World War Z, it's the other one. I can't think of it right now. Where you saw that the the angels or the, the chariots, they were shooting lasers and people was turning into dust. Well, that's biblical, okay? It says, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. They shall be amazed at the strangeness of, their, of his salvation. Because nobody thinks that, you know, us brothers, okay, who are out there faithfully, consistently in season out of season teaching the word teaching the truth all right that we're the hebrew israelites not black folks okay not hispanics 
not native for Seminole Indians, but we're the Hebrew Israelites of the 12 tribes, and that we're waiting on Yahweh Shai, nobody believes that that salvation that Yahweh Shai spoke, spoke about. Nobody believes but us. All right? So it says, and they shall be amazed at the strangeness of, the, of his salvation, because it's going to be very strange to see a brother being taken up in a chariot, okay, right before the nuclear destruction. These other nations going to see this, man. Outside of Babylon, they're going to see this stuff, man. And they're going to be amazed. And they're going to start calculating. They're going to say, well, damn, is this the one they was talking of? Is this the one that's come? You know, that, that they said was going to deliver them? It's happening. All right, they're going to be afraid. Now, I just want to hypothetically say one thing you know, hypothetically, let me say it again, hypothetically speaking, you know, because I don't know the steps and the ways that the Lord is going to do, but we do know what he said he's going to do. But how he do it and when he do it, we don't know that. We just know what he said he's going to do. Now, hypothetically speaking, you know, as I was watching that movie, you know, I was thinking like, well, damn, you know, because in the movie, it's an old clip. So, you know, if you ain't see it, then sorry, you know, not to be a spoiler, but it is what it is. It's 2008 but in the movie they they basically Esau's only way of destroying this monster this unknown creature was to send forth a nuclear destruction upon Manhattan and I was thinking man like you know the Lord could push the button for these thermonuclear missiles to come out their silos in these different countries you know or it could be possibly dramatically formed you know dramatically how the Lord is he's very dramatic and Esau's you know, solution to destroying Yahweh Shai and the angels here in Babylon, you know, because they wanted to stop the monster from getting to other places. So why not just take out Manhattan? You know, now, like I said, it's hypothetically speaking, speaking food for thought, you know, throwing it out there that uh, it's possible, you know, just looking at it through a vision, you know, that they could be pushing the button to try to destroy Yahweh Shai and the angels, man, to stop the Lord from delivering the Israelites, you know, and hoping that that would be the end, you know, just hypothetically speaking, man. I advise brothers go watch that again. It was pretty good. So let's just get back to the scripture. It says, um, so far beyond all that they look for. So this salvation that's coming is way out of left field, man. It's way so far beyond. They can't even grasp it. They can't visualize it, vision it, you know. But we can, man. All praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Verse 3. And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, This was he whom we had sometime in derision and a proverb and a reproach. All right? Because they're going to say that within themselves being vexed. That was he whom we had sometime in derision and a proverb and a reproach. You mean to tell me those niggas, those wetbacks, those Uncle Tomahawks, those people, you know, they're going to be saying this, man. We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor, man. And they thought our end to be without honor because they see us standing stiffly for the name of the Lord, standing boldly, as the scripture says here, the righteous man standing in great boldness before the face of, of such as have afflicted him. They think there's no honor coming to us when we teach and preach, man. They're laughing at us. All right? Well, you can laugh. It's cool. All right? We fools, as, as, as they're going to say, we fools accounted his life madness. They thought it was mad for us to be out there in the hot summer, cold winter, te uh, teaching and prophesizing. All right? And his end to be without honor, how was he numbered among the children of Yahweh? And his lot is among the saints. They're going to be saying that because it's going to be confusion of faces. He's all going to be confused. <laughs> you other nations, you unbelievers, you two-thirds, you're going to be confused, man. Because you're going to see Israelites being taken up. But they may not look like a so-called Negro or Hispanic, a native Indian. They may look like a, a, a Chinese person. They may look like an Edomite. All right? A so-called white man. They may look like an African. It says... How was he numbered among the children of God and his lot is among the saints, which are the Israelites? Therefore, have we erred from the way of truth and the light of righteousness have not shined unto us and the son of righteousness, 
rose not upon us, okay? Because the true light of righteousness is upon the Lord's elect, okay? And that's starting with his prophets, man, his elders, apostles, and teachers, brothers in, in the uh, body of Yahweh Shai, all right? And the light of righteousness have not shined unto them, because Esau lived in darkness. And you two-thirds that follow after Esau, in Isaiah 13, it says, He that is joint unto them shall be thrust through. All right? So y'all following in, in darkness, man. It says, The sun of righteousness rose not upon us. We wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. Yea, we have gone through deserts where there lay no way. But as for the way of the Lord, we have not known it, man. Here Esau searched out everything, man. The scriptures say he gives a diligent search. But the way of the Lord... He have not known it, man. Okay? Just as well as these heathens who are uh, following in the footsteps of Esau to try to beat Esau in his own race. Okay? Uh, in, the, in, the mer in the way of merging technology to humans to be this next carnal kingdom. Wicked kingdom. Alright? Well, the last wicked kingdom is Babylon the Great and that's America, man. North America. Alright? So, for the way of righteousness, they have not known it. They sought out many inventions and many devices. But the way of the Lord, they have not known it, man. All right. Verse 8. What have pride profit of us? And what good have riches with our vaunting brought us? All those things are passed away like a shadow and as a post that hasteth by. All right. So wickedness is really going to be like a bad dream. All right. Everything that Esau done and wickedness is going to be the past. And all righteousness is going to be the future. Okay, so I'm gonna read that one more time. I'll wrap it up. Like I said, it's a quick hit. It says, verse 9, all those things that are passed away, all those things are passed away like a shadow. And that's gonna be America. It's all gonna be like a shadow passed away. Nobody's gonna remember this shit no more when we in the kingdom. You're not gonna wanna remember this. All right? And as a post that hasteth by. Um, okay, I'll continue. And as the ship that passeth over the waves of the water, which when it is gone by, the trace thereof cannot be found. Neither the pathway of the nil and the waves. The, yeah, it says, or as when a bird hath flown through the air, there is no token of her way to be found. But the light air being beaten with the stroke of her wings and part of the part of with the violent noise and motion of them is passed through. And therein afterward, no sign where she went is to be found. All right, and that's ultimately America. That's ultimately you Edomites. All of you Edomites, starting with the Rothschilds, y'all going in captivity. All right, Yahweh Shai is coming to put you into captivity. He's come to deliver his elect. Okay, you know, so for the brothers that are in the, uh, you know, like minded in the right spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man, may this lesson uplift you. You know, for the newly fruit coming in, new brothers, you know, commenting and things of that nature. You know, I hope that you were edified, man. You know, we got joy. We should praise Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai because it's truly joy and salvation coming to us, brothers, man. Peace, true peace, true safety, okay? True refuge, man. The true, uh, Yahweh Shai said in John 10 and 10, uh, he said, the thief cometh not but to steal, kill, and destroy, but I come to give life more abundantly, man. So all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash, Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom.